right, here's the old battery. It was like this, I just pried it off. And then the new battery, all you have to do is just put it back in. This uh, ribbon cable is a little bit folded up, so you have to unfold it. Uh, and then here's the SD card. And then here's the reader. Just put it in to the reader like this. And then we gotta attach it to the iPod itself. All right, now, I got it to work. I plugged in, I uh, connected the battery, I connected the iFlash thing. I was gonna take video doing it, but it just was too hard, I was too in the zone. But what happened when I took this apart, the uh, screen actually came off, and the way the screen is attached to like the inside of the iPod is by tiny screws. So what happened is the little plastic tabs that go around the screws broke. I, I also ordered a, a replacement screen, or uh, screen cover thing, which is white, and that I got from eBay, but it's coming from like, China from like a factory or something so it's gonna take like three months the state it's in right now is uh, So like when I took it apart there were a bunch of little plastic bits which were the broken tabs and I was thinking what is this But it's just the broken tabs so when if you're doing this I recommend you get a replacement screen and then you're gonna have to Put it back on take out the screws and put it back take out the screws put them back in Etc if you want to make it like super duper perfect because right now it's a little bit like the buttons if you can hear uh, when you plug it in, you're gonna have to, the, the computer's, well, I'm using a Mac, I don't know if it would be like this on Windows, but the computer's gonna say, um, what did it say? It said, uh, this disc is not readable by this computer or whatever, disregard that, go into iTunes, you're gonna say, an iPod's been found, but it's in recovery mode, because since you just inserted a new hard drive, there's no, like, iPod software on it. So you're gonna have to click restore iPod, and then it's downloading, and now I gotta put in my password. <laughs> Alright, so here's the current, flash forward a couple weeks, yeah weeks, this is the current setup of the, uh, the iPod here. Uh, it looks, I don't know exactly where I was in the status. In the last clip, I don't exactly remember what I was doing, but you can see there's tape on here. Because the, uh, the tabs, I'll, I'll show you better in a bit, but the tabs broke so the case isn't actually held on that well. So I taped it up and... I masterfully taped the screen so there's no bubbles, so it looks... Uh, I taped it up so I could use it and not be afraid of it falling apart. I got a, got a package from... Uh, well, if it's not going to focus, let me just pull it up on a map. From right here in uh, China. Oh, that's where it came from. And uh, on the back here it says... And I repeat, it says phone case. And then, uh, I don't know those characters of the Chinese. Oh, let me look those up real quick. Uh, according to my phone, those characters, which sound like... Means phone bright. Phone bright. So, <laughs> and, it's a, and it's a screen for this, a new screen. Because, they're a new cover plate thing, because, uh... Tabs are broken on the inside, which you'll see in a second, and that's why I had to tape it down, so I got a new one, and I got it in a different color. Hopefully this is not a phone bright. Not the best camera angle, but I don't have a tripod with me, so let's get a good view of this opening. Yeah, that's not really a good angle. Oh wow, look at that. Perfect. Alright, and it looks like exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, get a nice shot of that, Mr. Camera. Yeah, so, it is in case, I mean, it is uh, a phone bright, indeed. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can put this on. What's really weird about this is that, if you can see here, there's a, there's a hole. Look, I don't know why, but there's a hole here, if you want to show off. Hey, China, look at this. Alright, so it looks like it'll work. By the way, this cost eight bucks and it should work and it did not come with a button which I wasn't really expecting it to come with so it will be a black circle and then also a black button uh... should be interesting so uh, let me crack into this this video is not meant to be a tutorial but if you're going to use this as a, t as a tutorial make sure you turn this off and then lock it before you take it apart because you don't want it to like turn on in the middle of it being disassembled it might freak out or something be safe around knives. Seriously, don't don't play with knives. I should probably just take off the tape. That was not the best idea. Now I got twice as many pieces to take off. 
I looked on uh, eBay for colored cases or colored covers to try to find one that was uh, like not just white or black. I wanted to shake it up a bit, but to uh, no avail. I found only white and black, which is too bad because I wanted like a, a red one or something. Really make it pop. Oh, it looks like I got a little. But well, that's actually really weird. By putting on the tape to make it have no bubbles, like I took like a credit card and I just like put it on and pushed it at the same time. Really hard. Okay. So if you see closely, there's that right there, which you might be able to see. Those things that was from me putting on the. My hat dipped into the thing, so it went to the other viewfinder. Sony A6000 problems, am I right? Uh, it pushed the like top bit of the plastic. Same with there. Strange. Doesn't matter. All right, back to the to the time lapse here. This is gonna be a pain to edit. Oh, the things I do for the YouTube for my 22 subscribers. I can't tell what's residue and what is tape. I don't think there's any more tape on here. Next thing you're going to need is some uh, skull and crossbones fluid, also known as isopropyl alcohol 91%. And then just wipe it down. Ouch. And I got a cut underneath my fingernail, and it burns cuts, by the way. Let's go on the YouTube. So we'll take this off the desk so I don't accidentally spill it, even though it's closed, trust me, I bet I can find a way to spill it. This relic from a couple weeks ago, but for you it was probably 60 seconds ago. This is really just going to be a pain to edit, isn't it? Ah, <clears throat> man. Alright, now just take this out, which should, which is easy McPeasy, because... I'm balancing the... the, the on a Rubik's Cube wallet, fun fact. My wallet, I got it on sale at a leather store. It's a Timberland wallet. I would have expected it to cost... There goes the button. I would have expected it to cost, like, 50 bucks. It cost 20. Alright. This is the tricky part. You see, now that this is coming off, and if you look closely here, all the tabs are broken, because that's... because that's just the way it is. Okay. Now, that almost was a disaster, but it wasn't. I'm gonna take a toothpick, and I'm gonna close with this box that's broken. So let's just push this little tabby tab up, and then bazinga, that comes off. And then here's the inside, which I think I need to picture of or something. Yep, there we go. So here's the inside, here's the flash, flash drive, here's the new battery, and then everything just kind of connects. Now if you look, so you see that screw right there? See that screw right there? You see that screw right there, and how it's coming out. On the back side, they're all broken. You see that? Now the new cover will fix that. I just have to unscrew the screws on here. Hopefully this will fit. Hey, just, just my luck actually fits. Alright, now these screws are really tiny. Oh my gosh. Let's get an actual dish for this. Uh, got a Benihana ashtray. There we are. I'm probably not in shot, am I? Alright. That was pretty satisfying. Oh, is this supposed to be there? Well, that's really weird, the... It's a little... This bit, it's like... Foam, but it like... Rebuilds itself if you just put your fingernail on it, if that makes sense. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to assume that all this stuff is meant to be there, so... Sorry. <laughs> It's in. I 
still got, I took out this bit because it was being too finagly on the back. And I still got some stuff underneath the screen, so I'll have to do that. But that's how it's going to look when it's done. Looks pretty nice. And, uh, all the buttons work. It takes a while to do this, just be patient because it will pay off, I promise you. A uh, bit of a news flash uh, on the on the this. Uh, what's it like? Lens cleaner for glasses is a lot works a lot better than ice purple alcohol. Just I wouldn't recommend spraying it on here because it's probably too much. So I sprayed it on a on a microfiber cloth and then I rubbed it in. <laughs> These little pieces, they're really annoying. They will fall out if you just take it apart, but it's no big deal. You can just put them back, but don't forget to put them back. Uh, also, when taking this apart, I broke the uh, the white thing in here, but it has not caused a problem, so I'm just going to leave it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together the battery and stuff, and then before I close it, seal it, I'm going to make sure it works. Because if it doesn't work... It just resets my wallpaper. Alright, it works. Hopefully I don't have to like reinstall whatever. Hopefully the hard drive wasn't corrupted. Alright, it does this, which it normally does when it's plugged in. And looks like we're good to go. It that's a lot for an iPod. Oh my gosh. But uh it works, it works. So uh yeah, let's go back to the desk. Alright, uh, I'm gonna turn it back off because just for, again make it safer. Alright, and you just push it in. Make sure all the buttons work. There you, wow, this is really thin now that it's not pushed open with tape and stuff. And then I turned it off. Turns on, works fine. I turned off the sound so because that's really annoying. It works fine. The music works fine. Alrighty, so let's uh Now this, I'm just going to chuck. So let's, uh, p let's play some music real quick. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I would have had some music, but I'd probably get a copyright strike. Mm -hmm. All Die Hard Wham fans know that that beginning bit of the music isn't the song that I played on the iPod, yeah. I can barely hear the song because I'm speaking so loudly into this microphone because it barely picks up a thing, yeah. I'd be recording this on my Mac but it doesn't recognize my blue snowball. And that's the microphone I'm using. I would have probably used my recorder but it's up in my room and I don't really want to walk upstairs right now because I need some water. Because I've been doing this video for so long. It's 3 o'clock, that's pretty late. Well, I got the new iPod right here. Here are the button sounds. That's pretty cool. Again, copyright strikes. I got a copyright strike on the Club Penguin video. Remember, uh, 